The birth of independent India on the 15th of August 1947 marked a victory in a long fought battle against colonial rule. But it also marked the start of another one, the battle to get the new economy back on track. Drained of its wealth, battered by famines, home to the poorest in the world, the first government under Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru had a seemingly impossible task. The partition of India and the large influx of refugees pouring in added another dimension to the challenge. A plan had to be made to build factories, create infrastructure, improve productivity and ensure jobs. Almost three quarters of the workforce was engaged in agriculture where productivity was low. The only thing that was rising was the population. For Nehru and his government, the actual work of building a nation had just begun. The most urgent problem to address was that of economic growth. So soon after the constitution came into effect, a planning commission was established on the 15th of March 1950. It had to report directly to the prime minister who led it from the front. Its first chairman was Jawaharlal Nehru himself. The commission's original mandate was to promote a rapid rise in the standard of living of the people by efficient exploitation of the resources of the country, increasing production and offering opportunities to all for employment in the service of the community. The commission, influenced by the prevailing wave of socialism which saw a big role for governments in setting economic agendas, adopted the model of five-year plans for effective utilization of resources. The five-year plans were centralized and integrated national economic programs and the first such plan was implemented by Joseph Stalin in the Soviet Union in 1928. In 1953, the concept was adopted by China, completing its socialist transformation under Mao Zedong. The five-year plans continue to play an important role in China's social and economic development. India introduced its first five-year plan two years earlier than China did in 1951. The country was dealing with refugees, extreme food shortages and rising inflation. As a result, the first plan allocated about 45% of its budget to irrigation, energy agriculture and community development projects. Drafted by economist K. N. Raj, the plan was based on the Harrod Dahmer model that sought to boost economic growth through higher savings and investments. The government incorporated three major hydroelectric projects under this plan. The Bhakra Nangal Dam in Punjab, the Hirakud Dam on the Mahanadi in Odisha, and the Nagarjuna Sagar Dam on the Krishna River in Andhra Pradesh during these years. Nehru considered them the temples of modern India. The country also worked with the World Health Organization to address children's health and reduce infant mortality. At the end of the plan period in 1956, five IITs were started as major technical institutions and measures to strengthen higher education. The Planning Commission had a modest target of 2.1% GDP growth at the end of the first five-year plan. India ended up recording a growth rate of 3.6%. The success of the first plan encouraged the Commission to set even more ambitious goals and a bolder approach to India's future.